if you want to go check that, it's you know, ifttt dot com. Uh, but you know, the whole like if this and that, and, and they kind of set things up as recipes. And this is something I first experimented with a tiny, tiny bit because it was a way to get your Google Glass to do a little bit more than what the capabilities of whatever apps were released for it. Because uh, you could tie into this, and and I think like I I, I think these were I, well, I had one recipe in here. From old, yeah. If I Facebook, then I Google Glass. Uh, if I tag the photo on Facebook, get a notif- If I get tagged as a, in a photo on Facebook, I would have gotten a notification from Glass right away. Um, and, and and I I kind of had this note uh, for a while to kind of I'm figuring out how to kind of simplify things and remove a lot of the cruft of the day to day, especially when it comes to the podcasting and the social media and maintenance. So I'm very very interested in just time time freeing applications you know I totally agree whether you know tweet jukebox i've been talking about over on basic sorgonomics for several months since podcast since since i discovered it there and that's been a huge huge boon for me right and uh and, and i'm thankful to see that uh, most of my usage in tweet jukebox falls under their free tier that they're releasing here as they as they upgrade to uh <laughs> paid plans here in the next at, at the beginning of november so so i'm pleased about that just had to make slight adjustments um but but I was trying to figure out, like what other things uh, could ha- could happen with this. Now there's a couple uh, weird things I did have to do. Uh, so so again, just kind of poking a little bit with this. Uh, this worked. I was experimenting right before the show. Uh, that uh, you know I, I you know none of us are happy about how Instagram doesn't post directly to uh, Twitter that, as, or, a, as a picture. You as can, a picture, have, you can have it send a link. Right, it's a link, but but it doesn't show mm. up anywhere. Yeah. Except you know, the Hootsuite, I think, is starting to now, and some of the other ones. But like in Twitter, which is you know, frankly, most of the people that you're interacting with are going to be in a Twitter application, uh, not Tweetbot, not Hootsuite, not something else. I think. Uh, so you want something compatible, right? Mm-hmm. So I I did play with that a little bit, and uh, and and let me pull up a little bit. I just did a quick picture. Uh, uh, just a quick po- podcast date picture with that app over that we've talked about in the past. Mm-hmm. Uh, that puts the little graphics on there, which is, by the way, uh, newly redesigned in the last couple of weeks. I definitely recommend checking it out and see if uh, it kind of helps you uh, get into the application a little bit more. Uh, but uh, if we go over here, uh, you see there's our Twitter, and that was an Instagram photo. It's a native photo, so everybody can see it behaves just like that and we do get a short link the uh if this then that short link over here which pops voila back into the instagram if you'd like so and thank you to those couple people that already uh uh, liked the photo there you go and uh it worked it worked really well and 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 the app i have the app on my phone so it'll actually send me a notification when it's executed this so if it's like, hey, I did the Instagram. Hey, oh yeah, hey, we saw you did an Instagram. Uh, we're executing this recipe, and I know that's gone through. And then I can also see if I don't see a notification, I know there's something else. One other thing. So you 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 have to like you know authorize like YouTube, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, right? Mm-hmm. So my problem has always been that, okay, what about I have several, 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 several accounts. So I can't sit there in one account. And just um, and just set up everything for all my podcasts, all my Twitter accounts, everything, because you really just kind of authorize the one, or you authorize the Facebook, and you point it to a page or YouTube, and you point it to a certain account, and you can't really dance back and forth and just have them all together. So I actually went over to, um, again, just starting with this today, uh, I went and signed up with one for uh, Wrestling Mayhem show, and and even went in there. Reddit is something that I haven't been able to get into. Just. It's not been on my purview. I, I have not, I'm not into it. Nobody on the show really frequents it all that often. I know some of you guys here on AwesomeCast do, and I know you sent me links here every once in a while. So, excuse me, I got a thing from the pizza I ate earlier. <clears throat> um, but uh, so the couple of recipes I found were take the YouTube video, post it to videos on on Reddit. Seems to make sense. Okay. Uh, take 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 the articles from the website and post them to. I I, I went to the Squared Circle uh, Reddit and said, okay, let's just send them over there. Now I am a little concerned because I, I was under the impression that um, you shouldn't just post things like your own things to Reddit. Like you should really be part of the community and kind of deal with that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm concerned I might get ostracized because I'm kind of auto posting to it. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what to do about that bit but at least i'll be plugging some stuff into it and we'll kind of see what happens so at least i can experiment with that and there's other things like i wish 
I wish there were other things that were a part of this. Like Spreaker is one of the podcast uh, services that I use, and I cross post a little bit. That's how we get on iHeartRadio for the live shows. So I really would have loved that there was something that I could post a, a audio file on on one podcast. And then, like, maybe you'll take it off of the iTunes stream and just go ahead and post it over here. Like, those are the kind of other things that I would love to be able to do. Mm -hmm. um, and I wish, I don't know, maybe there's some kind of macro thing that I can do to to automate those a little bit more. But in the meantime, this is basically it. But, in the, but at least, you know, I'm looking at, okay, especially the guys that are doing the uh, Google Hangouts, because then I have to sit and do all the work after they're done making the show mm -hmm. so that more people will be able to see it basically what if they just post the video on youtube and it takes care of like posting it to wordpress we're posting it to to some other services so even if like okay i didn't get to it i really can't get to it to the next day at least like it's out there it's automatic it's automatic it's out there i don't have to sit there and do it so uh you know I, i'm exploring this is something you need to kind of get your head into and how it works and, and like I said, they do a lot of hand-holding a bit because you get in here and they categorize things pretty well, like Shop Smarter. You know, uh, there's there's one here that was, uh, they were talking about this on another podcast, I think, where they're like, you know, you could do something where uh, um, when you your phone sees that you're close to home, it'll text somebody. So I could set something up so my wife knows every time I'm within a mile of the house. The, the, I think they, they used to have a recipe where it was any time a web page changed. Or was updated. Yeah. So they must have grabbed all the HTML code, <laughs> and and the and like a, a snapshot of the the website. It must check in with it like once a day or something like and that. And I think it's I think it's more than once a day. And where I would find it interesting is like if something's if you if you're looking at a product and you're waiting for it to go on sale, or like Monday the Apple TV is going to go on sale. If you can get an update when they update the the Apple TV website to instead of saying coming soon say it says buy that's where i think it also comes in handy is if you're waiting for something to happen for it to notify you and there's interesting things like like it, it's more extra functionality that that plenty of serv services don't already have like i'm looking at one right now that said that that creates a uh, craigslist daily update based on a search so you're always seeing when new stuff comes up. So I'm always kind of keeping an eye out. Maybe I, I maybe I want to keep an eye out for people looking for videographers. You mm -hmm. know, maybe there's some gigs out there. Most of them are crap on Craigslist, but still, you know, you never know. So I I, I can go here and I'll, I'll type in my email, and it's pretty public. I don't care. And let's do a search for videographer. So now you know you know that's something that you know. I, I can't remember last time I thought to go to Craigslist, Craigslist to do something. Now it's just an email, and we just created a thing. And oh, it's creating it's apparently creating a account in something. Oh, I'm not signed in. That's a problem. It signed me out somehow. But uh, but you know, again, something that Craigslist doesn't do. Craigslist doesn't really have email updates. But now you can do that uh, in your own way, uh, and you can create your own thing. You're like, I need a thing that with this service that does this, and you can go through their page of. Uh, just services they have and just and just kind of figure okay they have Evernote and then they have uh, Google Drive how can I put the things from Google Drive into Evernote or vice versa or something like that you know you really can kind of uh, create something out of this and I, I, it's pretty cool I think there's a lot of possibilities here they have a lot of uh, if you get the iPad iPhone version I'm sure there's probably an Android one as well uh, there's a lot of stuff that really interacts with your phone, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it, it's a pretty cool service. It's really kind of, it's really kind of, uh, it, it, it's kind of grown and matured over the years. And I think it's uh, if you haven't yet, I think this is a pretty good time to kind of poke at this a bit. And, and here you, we were talking about kind of some of the home automation. Uh, uh, um, uh, automation uh, with that last uh, thing with the clock. Uh, set your Nest thermostat to blank. Toggle your Wemo switch. You know these are you know do recipes right and mm -hmm. uh, uh, if recipes. So again the the ifs the ifs are looking for something. If you see you know if you see me post an Instagram, it will then do something right. Like it's looking for a trigger basically. 
uh, email me my new iPhone photos. So anytime I, I take more, fi- I, I have a night out taking photos. I'm taking photos of us down here. I'll get an email with them. Uh, that seems a little, I don't, I think I take too many pictures for that to be a thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you know uh, what? I mean, it could be, it, it could be nice if you want, if, if, if you have a spare phone, you know how you were talking about using a spare phone for taking taking video or something. And you just want an easy way to back that up to a different account. That's true. That's or true. Or ha- is on a different account, and you want yeah. it to, to email it to another one. I, I I'm always impressed with their recipes, and the thing that that I fear, and I've I've feared in the past, and why I haven't gotten as into it as I should have, is I'm afraid they're going to go pay, and then I'm going to be stuck like relying on the service which was a concern with the tweet jukebox where i'm like i like they're like oh yeah we're gonna pay for stuff and i'm like oh no oh no i've been i've come to depend on this what if and, and like they initially they weren't they were very clear because they're like oh 300 tweets i'm like wait 300 300 active i tweeted out during the month or 300 tweets in a bin because one of those is very bad for me okay mm-hmm. <laughs> so um but no no that, that worked out too and I, I can see the power user use of it to having to pay for it um but uh but no yeah I, this has been around for so long I, I don't know what what is the story behind these guys that they're uh created in san francisco obviously um <laughs> what isn't what yeah seriously privacy jobs i mean uh, they're, they're doing something products wait there's products around this meet do Control the world around the do button. Hold on. If connects uh, apps that you love. So, so I mean, they, they, again, they have.